this character, bro. That is so peak. There's no way. X. Oh, no. I will kill them. All right. Let's see. Zen is on zero. 1.2. Still think they won. Just like 16 hours too late. I mean, same thing, right? It's fine. I can't wait, man. This game is so hype, low key. It's so good. Oh, yeah, events. Let's see. <laughs> so big, man. It's crazy. Yeah, that's some sick art. I'm not gonna lie. But who's that, though? Is it supposed to be Bern Bernice? I mean, I guess because of the glasses, right? Name. No. That's the picture they chose. Oh, sure. There's a colored version. Oh, hell no. Nah. It's time for cinema. There we are. Shepard just contacted us. Okay. Let's sit back and enjoy, I suppose. Wants to meet. I don't want to meet him though. By request. Yeah, we're sent to a scope of commission. Now to risk, so we could try down Perlman. Not to move now. Yes. Cinema. It's time. My old friends, the two Faithins. It's been a while. How have you both been lately? Not too bad. Wait, this is the first time we hear this guy's voice. If you get us the business we need, things would be even better. Oh, dear. Well, when you say it like that, I'm not quite sure how to put the next part. To disappoint us. Sounds like you're going to let us down. Please hear me out. It's completely out of my hands. The city has recently beefed up security measures for the election. Not just on the main roads. They've also got people stationed on the hollow exits leading to the outer ring. Although there have always been quite a few outer ring smugglers using the hollows for transport, risks have skyrocketed recently, and most clients have given up on doing business in the city for now. Even oh, if you so Bell and to risk it, those Billy are smog gonna get smuggled into the outer ring? So you passed up on my value through Sons of Caliban? Business in the outer ring. You're looking for a reliable source of intel, right? Yeah. Shepard, you know us all too well. Well, we've been partners for a while now. Don't worry, I don't need to know the details. Though I don't have any business for you, I didn't come here for nothing. Here's my two Denny's. If you're looking for information, try to get in with the Outer Ring biker gangs. Biker mm, gangs? You don't the say. The Outer Ring live far apart, and the transportation of supplies relies heavily on the biker gangs. They're well respected among the residents, and nothing happens there without them knowing about it. It's unfortunate that this option is beyond the scope of my business, so this is all the help I can offer you. <clears throat> Well, that's all I have to say. I'll let you get back to your business. If you change your mind and want to make some easy oh, money in the like that. future, I don't like the way he's talking. Contact me anytime. Thank you. We'll think about it. See ya. We got a useful piece of intel, but it won't make finding Pearlman any easier. We don't have any other choice. The outer ring is completely out of our scope of operations. Speaking of which, finding intel on Perlman has been harder and harder in the city lately. Even Fairy hasn't been able to find any useful leads. Bell, this whole thing is strange to me. I mean, I mean, he went to the outer ring. How is there going to be info on him? What's so strange about it? Here's what I'm thinking. The outer ring might be vast and sparsely populated, but for someone to survive there... They still have to come into contact with other people. Perlman's okay. escape caused quite a stir, and public security is looking for him. You think there'd be all kinds of intel on him by now? 
How does a living, breathing person disappear into thin air? Maybe he's dead. Airship hijacking incident somewhere in the outer rings, old oil field district. My god, it's cinema time. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, I guess I'll skip this myself. <laughs> now that's more like it, old man. If you'd spoken up sooner, we could have saved ourselves the effort. Who's this? Oh. Any other challengers? Anyone else? Big smug face. Now you can't say it's not the right time for us to join the Torrid Inferno. We, the sons of Caladon, are the strongest. This time I'm gonna oh, so they stole the, the invite. Time. I see. Seize the Overlord's throne. <sighs> it's strike while the iron's hot, you idiot. <laughs> The Overlord's throne, huh? Season so that's the game with the jacket. Oh change. my god. Since you've earned the right, that's crazy. The waters. Huh? Wait, no, that was... I don't know. I'm retired. This kind of action-packed stuff should be left to the young'uns. Besides, someone's got to look after the transport business. Caesar! Big Daddy! We found something amazing over there! Oh, it's an airship! This is the first time I've seen one up close! Hey, Caesar, there's a live one over here. It's such a serious accident. This guy's lucky to be alive. Nope. I feel like I've well, seen this face before. It's not just any guy. This is the defendant in that vision case from the city. He's on the public security's most wanted list. So much money! Enough to drink nitro fuel like water for the next 30 years! Oh, that's like, that's like so anime. Public security sure is generous. I like that. Public security? Damn, this guy's PTSD. That's no, crazy. Don't hand me over to public security. Uh, I'm begging you. I know who the real mastermind is. I have evidence of their crimes. Evidence. Why is he grabbing onto his her foot like that? It's not cool, man. Actually, I'm starting to doubt if Perlman is even still alive. Yeah, that's what I was thinking on before all that. The sacrifice investigation. But I'm afraid the Cunning Hare's lawsuit might be on hold for a while. Master, second assistant. True. There is an incoming call. Second assistant. Should I connect the call for you? Right on cue. Ferry, put the call through. Straight up from Billy. Oh, manager, you're home. I just sent you a message, but you didn't reply. So? Sorry, I was dealing with some customers. Didn't check my phone. Manager, I have something really important to tell you, but I prefer to do it face to face. I'm at the corner behind Bardic Needle. Can you meet me there? Billy, you're no. close by. Why don't you just come to the store? Yeah. Uh, because the vehicle I'm driving won't fit through. Uh, wait, a public security officer is coming over. I gotta talk to them real quick. Hey, so I'm hanging up. I'll be waiting. I'm counting on you. A vehicle. Billy said his car wouldn't fit through? I don't get it. They've parked here lots of times before. It seems he has something important to say. Bell, you should go meet him. Well, I think this will be just Billy. I mean, if it's with Nicole, why wouldn't Nicole just call? How is their bank view here with Billy and the truck? What? <laughs> you have some explanation to do. What just happened? Oh, manager, that was quick. I mean, it's just down the road. Billy, did you get rich? Not only a new truck, but also a new look for a million. <laughs> manager, that's impossible. Uh, I'm not sure if Yikes. I'm saying this, but. Basically, the truck and the bangboo both belong to an outer ring biker gang called the Sons of Caledon. 
That's crazy. The coincidence. Recently, non residents have had to queue for a long time to get in and out of the city. So I'm helping them transport goods. After all, I used to work for them. What? I didn't know you spent time in the Outer Ring. Yeah. Actually, I lived in the Outer Ring for a while. It was a stroke of luck that eventually brought me to the city. Manager, we can chat about this later. I have something important to tell you. The sons of Caledon have intel on Pearlman. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> really? So what kind of intel do they have specifically? I asked, but that's info they don't give up easily. Manager, the sons of Caledon know we're looking for Pearlman. They said they can provide exclusive intel on one condition. They want to talk business with Faith and face to face. Hmm. You mean they're looking for a proxy? They didn't put it like that, but that's my guess. Manager, though we really need Pearl. That's probably to help for the Tord Inferno. Nicole said we owe you. That's probably gonna be some bullshit within Holos, right? Anyway, well, makes sense. We'll helping the sons of Caledon upgrade their bang boo and purchase supplies in the city over the next few days, and then I'll head out to meet them. If you want to meet them face to face, you should come with me. I did not pay attention to his last two sentences. Well, too bad. What's flashing? Can you stop flashing? Please. My brain can't handle it. Okay. Yo. Bell, you're back. What did Billy want to talk about? Why are you outside? <laughs> the sons of Caledon. One of the Outer Ring biker gangs has info on Pearlman. But they want to talk business face to face. Bell, what's your take on this? Since they need a proxy, our chances of getting info on Pearlman are quite high. Right. But the Outer Ring is a wild place, and we don't know what the risks are. I'm not comfortable letting you go alone. Yeah. Billy will be there too. Plus, he's still doing favors for his old boss, so they must have a pretty good relationship. Alright, I get it. The good thing is that the Outer Ring isn't under New Eridu's jurisdiction, and proxies can operate there unrestricted. So, we don't have to worry about anyone finding out that we're Faithen. Bell, you should spend the next couple of days preparing for the trip and taking care of any loose ends. Oh, don't worry. I'm ready. I've done it. Everything. Well, not really, but so there's some of the polychromes in this game. They're kind of tedious. I'm not gonna lie. Like to get. Yes. Let's go. Chapter four. God damn. To the inferno. Here we go. Not too long later. The highway. Whoa. It stretches on forever. What do you think, manager? The outer ring scenery is pretty nice, right? It's also super fun to drive here. But this road is too close to a hollow, and there are so many other hollows around. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. The outer ring lacks ether technology, making it hard to eliminate hollows. They can't even mine ether resources. Hey, you see that big guy over there? Damn. That machinery. Is it an oil pump? Oh, you're good. This area is called the old oil field. The Why do you say it like that? Still rely on petroleum oh, this the lake. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're dead. Interesting. They actually drove into the hollow. And here I thought I'd get to see some explosive. Who damage. are these guys? Yeah. Lord Lucius, I did what you asked. Please spare me. Please spare me. A 
Although the sons of Caledon meeting their end in a hollow only earns a 61 from me, I'll let it slide this time considering your hard work. I hope that in the future you'll remember this lesson and stop meddling in things that you shouldn't. The second in Wait, command this of the snake? vanquishers colluding with an ether corporation in the city? That's not a joke you should make lightly. Mm, so he called that guy up. Okay, interesting. Manager! Manager! Are you alright? No. Uh, oh, my head. Billy, your arm is way too hard. Oh, I'm so sorry! I turned too fast and you slammed into me! That oh, I see. Heading straight for us was terrifying. We only made it thanks to your quick thinking. And the vehicle isn't totaled. But we've fallen into a hollow now. What's our next move? Just before we fell into the hollow, I sent a distress signal to Wise. He'll find a way to help us from the outside. That's great! It's a relief to hear that. Right. Manager. Both of you have a special condition that means you can't be in the hollow for too long, right? Don't worry. There's anti-corruption serum in the truck that I helped buy, as well as some discarded hollow data piles from the city. Billy, that's our way out of the hollow. There must be a carrot in the Sons of Caledon's bamboo, plus the new data from the data piles. Oh, that's right! Your mm -hmm. proxy! You can calculate a path out of the hollow! All right. Let's get to work and yeah, just because she's not using file. years, that doesn't mean we can't. Now, why you give me this guy? Oh my, why is this like a 1.0 gameplay? Let's go, manager. I've got the data files. Okay, installing three should be enough. I even forgot to play this guy. What? Must have been drawn in by the data files. Don't worry, manager. I'll handle it. The bank boots do more damage than Billy. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh. Not these guys. And who's next? Used to be so good at like spamming like this attack, the spinning attack. But not anymore. Yes. A chest. Now you're talking. Yeah, wait, they're just... they're bigger. Why is that guy shooting? Does the most damage, like the most DPS. I wonder what type of like attack combo it is. Like what type of like secret moves does he have? Never really looked into it. But I only used it at the beginning. But that's interesting. He's in it. Stop! Get the fuck away from me! I'm actually killing these guys. I like that. When I actually kill it, oh, oh. instead of like them blowing up. Wait, thanks for waiting. I've got plenty 
Why did we go away from the car? No. Oh, they actually go hit. Oh, this was from the trailer. All right. She thinks she's bad. Little bro. Uh, that was funny. Hello? Come on, brother. You've gone a bit rusty. Bro, Billy was the son of Calvin. That's crazy. I don't care. Blood's in the little bro tier. That's crazy. Don't worry, big sis. I made out of tough enough stuff to hold out. <laughs> Brother, you have nowhere to run, but you've still got a mouth on you. Lighter, you oh, yeah. just don't know me well enough. My body is made out of enhanced materials now. Forget about ethereals. Even Nicole wouldn't dare hit me barehanded. <sighs> It seems that Nicole is pretty high up on the pecking order. So, big sis, lighter, how did you end up here? Oh, I got a strange call earlier from a young guy. He sounded terrified and said you fell into this hollow. So it was the deputy manager. Lucy thought it might be a trick. Deputy the manager. He gave about you okay. Flawless. And he even laid out a rescue route. Oh, so this is the legendary proxy, huh? Who'd have thought? Thanks. You arrived just in time. Uh -huh. Hey, Proxy! What's wrong? Manager! Manager! Stay with me! Quick! We gotta get out of here! Um, they really don't have any E for a aptitude or whatever the fuck you call it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Time passed after he lost consciousness. I have to take some of the blame for this accident as well. We, the sons of Caledon, must honor our guests with the finest funeral. Lighter, you will be carrying the coffin. 
That's a heavy responsibility. Why is blood? To keep the hearse driving steady. Piper. Got it. I'll make sure it's a smooth send off. Bernice. Of course, you'll be handling the cremation. What is? Also, she's just straight up crazy. I see. Family. What? Sorry, sorry. We got a little carried away. This guy is here as well. Sure. Nathan, who would have thought you'd both end up here all because of an accident? Must have scared you back then, huh? <laughs> Relax. You two and Billy are thick as thieves, so that makes us friends. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right. We've been sure. partners in crime for a while now. <laughs> Time for a formal introduction. We're the Sons of Caledon, a biker gang from the Outer Ring. I'm the current boss, Caesar. Billy should have already told you why we invited you. The Sons of Caledon need a favor from you. As for Pearlman, his airship crashed here in the Outer Ring during landing. He's lucky to be alive. But he's badly injured and hasn't woken up yet. What? You mean you have Perlman? Yeah. Wait. Didn't Lucy tell you? Don't That's worry. Awkward. We'll make sure he heals up. And once he's awake, we'll hand him over to you. Uh, <laughs> Caesar, are you stupid? Negotiation. Yeah, those are like their bargaining chip. <laughs> Negotiations? Bargaining chip? Lucy, again with the pettiness. This kind of manipulation and leveraging? Uh-uh. That's not very overlordy. Nah. -uh. <sighs> Easy for you to say. I worked my butt off to keep this info under wraps just for today. If we can't strike a deal with Faithen, where do you expect me to find a reliable proxy for the Tor de Inferno? The Tor de Inferno is our business. I never planned to count on anyone else. Don't worry, Proxy. You coming to the Outer Ring is a sign of respect. Even if you don't agree to help us, I won't go back on my word about Pearlman. Caesar, hmm. we appreciate your kindness. But as they say, no work, no reward. Wise is right. Actually, we only came today hoping to get a bit of information on Pearlman. We could never have expected what you're offering. Since you've been so honest with us, we'll do everything we can to help you. <laughs> yes. Straight to the point. We are and best listen. friends. Can you relax a little now, Lucy? Thanks, Faithen. Your willingness to help will be huge for us. So you need a proxy for this Tour d'Inferno you mentioned, right? What is it? <laughs> the Tour d'Inferno is the biggest event in the old oil field. Only the strongest squads of bikers can compete. It's a test in the hollows to find out who's the best. Caesar, there's no way they'll get it when you put it like that. <sighs> Let me explain. Simply put, the Tour de Inferno is an off-road motorbike race that crosses through a hollow. Only two teams compete, and the no rules way. are simple. The first team to cross the hollow, reach the finish point at Cinderglow Lake, and throw a spark stone into the lake wins. What's the purpose of such a dangerous race? The purpose of the Tour d'Inferno is to regularly ensure the safety of our oil resources. After all, oil is the lifeblood of the old oil field. Naturally, for us biker gangs, the Tour d'Inferno also serves another purpose. The winner of the race becomes Overlord of the Old Oil Field Motor League. That's right, Faithen. The Overlord is recognized as the top dog of the Motor League. The current Overlord's faction is called the Vanquishers, and their boss held the title for years. Oh, I've been itching to challenge him for a while now. I see. Lofty aspirations. 
Yeah, not bad. Caesar, if all you think about is shallow stuff like that, it won't be long before the sons of Caledon are mine. People are gunning for the Overlord spot for more than just becoming the top dog. We're not some school kids hooked on fighting manga. The future of the oil industry and no? old oil field relies on the are we not? of the Motor League in every sense of the word. And as the leader of the Motor League, the Overlord is in charge of assigning transport routes. That means they hold real, tangible power. For the past six months, the Vanquishers have only given us the worst routes. Ugh, they're definitely messing with us behind our backs. But when mm, I went to confront I see. Them, that smug second in command Lucius just said, the How's Overlord that guy? isn't in the old oil field right now, and the routes are decided at random. Hmm. Speaking of the Overlord, he hasn't been seen for half a year. Who knows what he's been doing? Mm. Lucy, what are you afraid of? Even if the roots aren't great, with our skills, it's nothing we can't handle. Besides, you're just mad because there's nowhere to buy makeup and snacks on these roots. <laughs> Shut up, Caesar! Didn't we agree you wouldn't criticize me in front of guests? <laughs> what rule is that? <laughs> you call that criticism? It's the truth. And you're the one who's always calling me an idiot. You think I don't have any self-respect? <laughs> you ruin one's plans each time you open your mouth and expect me to praise you? Bro, why is she chant like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Lady Lucy Montefio, I ruined your plans. <laughs> Actually, her full name is Luciana. Was so excited about meeting the legendary proxies that she couldn't sleep all night? <laughs> Enough, Caesar! I challenge you to a duel! Today's the day for the sons of Caledon to change hands! But you have a bat, Bring though. Then we'll see who's scared. Lighter! Come here and be the judge! Are they gonna be okay? Well, it's fine, Proxy. Don't worry. This is a two or three times a day kind of thing. Yeah, it's no big deal. Just don't get roped into being the referee, or you might end up on the wrong side of both of them. Anyway, Dang. proxies, it's great to have your help with the Tour de Inferno. Let's give it our best shot. Can late. Okay. We found them. Okay. I said the change of tomorrow and catch some Z's. The name of the game has been mentioned. That's crazy. And I need to get enough sleep to grow up healthy. Or uh, said over in Blazewood the next morning. Now, now this is cinema. Damn, why is it so hard, man? Sure. Oh, I can see again. Damn. Okay. And that goes down. Barrier. A chest. What are these things called again? Like something bush. Rattle bush. I don't know. I mean, what were these called, man? Anything else? Hello. What the dog doing? That's a dog from Jojo, no? They're like that. From 
like the Middle East with uh, Jotaro season three. Bro, I don't remember. But that dog was something. Okay. Hold something. Sure. I get so many chests. Okay, what's the point of coming up here? I wonder. Hmm. Anyway, I'll just keep going. Morning. Did you sleep well? No. You were exhausted yesterday, right? As soon as your head hit the pillow, you were out like a light. Billy, where's Wise? I haven't seen him. Oh, I just took him back to your store. The other manager and Caesar decided that they're going to move some of the equipment into your car and set up a mobile proxy workshop. Wow. You mean moving the HDD equipment out here? Right. The other manager said working in the city would make communication difficult. Plus, smart devices are few and far between in the outer ring. And long-range data transmission could slow us down. Oh, morning, proxy. You're awake. Billy's right. You'll be more efficient working from here in the outer ring. Don't worry, we'll take care of the power and network connection. Even in the outer ring, you'll be, uh, walking on thin ice. <laughs> I, I don't get it. <laughs> ah. She probably meant we'll take to it like a fish to water. I see. By the way, before the equipment arrives, let me take you to Blazewood and introduce you to the townsfolk. Lucy said you might not be used to roughing it with us, so I got the mayor to prepare a place for you. Oh, he shouldn't have. Uh, it's no problem. After we get back from town, go talk to Lucy and the others. I heard from your brother that you need to collect some hollow data before the race. Lucy and the gang are also preparing for the Torrid Inferno. You should be able to help each other out. Hmm. That's supposed to be like a Ford F100 or 150. Don't remember. A okay. More bushes. Damn, this NPC kind of looking though. Damn. Not bad. Piano. Caesar plays. Oh my god. Lever boo. Hmm, so this is all you do all day, eh? Well, good luck to you, I guess. Okay, I wonder what the point of these are. Just go up these stairs. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, she looks kind of basic, but still. Hey. Not more coins, man. I need, I need to spend like a good like full 24 hours to 100% this game. So I never have to think about it ever again. Casa! I brought the proxy to say hi. Oh, Caesar. So this is the proxy from the city? Custom That's NPC. I am looking. Huh? Just like us. Caesar, who's this young lady? Young lady? <laughs> you city folks talk funny. I'm Casa, the mayor of Blazewood. The sons of Paladon mm. have taken good care of our town. So if you need anything... Just let me know. 
You can stay in the house behind me tonight. Sorry, it's still got some stuff that hasn't been moved out, but I'll get someone to clean it up. Hey, Casa! I notice a lot of people in town making these woven items. We don't have a choice. The pipeline to town still isn't fixed. Without a gas station, all we can do is make handicrafts to earn a living. Luckily, we got a big order recently. And with the Tour d'Inferno coming up, the Sunflints are selling like hotcakes. Oh. What's a Sunflint? Oh, it's a kind of handicraft woven from straw. During the Tour d'Inferno, almost every house in the old oil field hangs them up. Hmm. Like a dream catcher. Interesting. Oh, I didn't notice the that. Looks like a face. <laughs> the elders say this is the face of the god of sun and fire, who guides heroes to ignite Cinder Lake and return safely from the hollow. But there's another saying the upside down person on the sun flint is the first overlord of the Motor League. Such a unique wow. pattern must have a story behind it, right? Yup. Actually, this pattern represents the legend of the first overlords toward Inferno. Though the old oil field can still produce oil, did you know the core oil field was swallowed up by a hollow decades ago? Wait, isn't oil susceptible to ether corruption? Mm-hmm. After the disaster, etheric no. fire seeped through the underground facilities and oil... And so that's why they don't have the gas station running? Oil reserves. But, luckily, the collapse of the only deep drilling facility formed a unique natural gas vent. The burning gas kept the etheric matter from spreading further down. So the natural gas oh. vent is Cinderglow Lake? The appearance of Cinder Lake saved everyone's livelihoods in the old oil field. But even with Cinder Lake, we can't rest easy. Natural gas and etheric matter burning together can easily turn into ether crystals building up around the lake. If left unchecked, more and more crystals will build up and eventually block the vent, extinguishing the lake. If that happens, the underground oil will be doomed. There was a time when Cinder Lake nearly went out. In order to save it, a young man and his friends risked their lives to enter the hollow and blast open an ether crystal using a special spark stone. Just like the one in my hand. Mm. So that's where this comes from. The yeah. hollow was treacherous. And they didn't even have a carrot with them. By the time they reached Cinder Lake, it was almost completely covered with crystals. Out of desperation, the young man rode his bike into the only spot that was still burning in Cinder Lake and managed to ignite it. So, everyone makes sunflints in memory of his sacrifice. <laughs> oh, Proxy. I never said the first overlord died there. It's normal for the Proxy to think that way. After all, everyone who went to Cinder Lake with him thought he was dead. But a day later, he miraculously emerged from the hollow alive. Nice. Folks say the god of the sun and fire was moved by his bravery, allowing him to be reborn from the flames. Since then, I'm gonna press X. Face in the image of him diving into Cinder Lake on their sunflints. There's even a line from a folk song that goes, "Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly." That's a great story. No wonder it's widely told. Uh huh. Kids in the old oil field grew up hearing that story. They used to play games pretending to be the first overlord in the Tor Inferno. Of course, the first overlord did more than that. After he returned, he gathered all the biker gangs in the old oil field and formed the Motor League. He also made the rule that the Tor Inferno would be held every few years to prevent a similar crisis at Cinder Lake. Yeah, that's why the Tor Inferno continues to this day. It's still a feat only the strongest bikers can accomplish, but for us residents, it's become more of a festival. Makes sense. Those time up. Uh, truck time channel with a tour it's useful thanks i go to cuss about powering your equipment once you head back to the gas station and meet lucy and the others and so they're back now okay 
bolter. Next. Hello. Bro, that's crazy, no? to meet the mayor what took you so long damn 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 <laughs> we saw the sunflints in blazewood and ended up hearing the legend of the tour d'inferno <laughs> that... ah, so i need to chill like i need to chill hold up after all that's her favorite story she even said her name ain't holding back that's all i'm gonna say just like the yeah. first overlord they ain't holding back. If she back. really wants to be like the first overlord, she better forget those childish fairy tales fast. You're not a fan of this legend, Lucy? It's not that I dislike it, but come on, we're all grown-ups here. We should look at things realistically, don't you think? I mean, the Torrid Inferno only happened a few decades ago. How come it's turned into this huge legend? But using an act of God to spread his story far and wide? The first overlord must have been pretty smart. Lucy, Caesar said this kind of old person talk will give you wrinkles. Nonsense! Don't listen to her lies! I use exfoliating face masks every day. No way I'll get wrinkles. <clears throat> Proxy, you can see it too, right? The Torrid Inferno is less about heroics and more about the first overlord securing control of the old oil field. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's a very realistic take. It sounds like something a new Eridu entrepreneur would say. Wow, Proxy, you're so smart. Lucy is actually from New Eridu. I knew it. <laughs> so you're from the city? What made you give up that life? <sighs> it's because I never wanted that kind of life where everything is already laid out for you. Plus, my dad only cares about profits and business. Exactly! It's different in the Outer Ring. Especially in the old oil field. The Motor League is all about freedom and justice. <laughs> That's what they say. But to survive, you can't forget about profits and business. Take the Sons of Caledon, for example. Employees need paychecks. Vehicles need maintenance, and we need supplies that the city won't sell us. Which means we need connections and money. Money. Proxy, I wasn't just making it up when I said the Overlord's faction is targeting us. The Sons of Caledon have had better rep than the Vanquishers these past few years. So, of course, they're jealous. Mm -hmm. The bad roots we've been getting have hurt our income, and recruiting new members has been an issue. So, for the future survival of the Sons of Caledon, we have to take the Overlord's title. Nice. It's good to have someone like you helping with the preparations for the Tour d'Inferno. <laughs> I knew someone as sharp as Faithen would get it. Fruit strength and passion alone won't get you far. Just watch. It won't be long before I beat Caesar and take the Sons of Caledon from her. <laughs> Lucy, you wouldn't admit it earlier, but it turns out you lost last night. N no, I didn't lose. It was just a momentary truce. Mm. After all, prepping for the Turd Inferno is what's most important now. I can put becoming the boss on the back burner. Proxy, let's talk business. The other Faithen mentioned this morning that the lack of hollow the other data in the Outer Ring is affecting your ability to perform in the hollows. So for now, we'll be going into the hollows with you to gather data. Oh, I also need your help with something. The vehicles for the Tour d'Inferno need some modifications. We need to get a hold of the necessary parts. Or Bell, I'm back. Yes. Good job, Wise. Come on, I'll help you set up the HDD. No need. I just tested the voltage and network speed here. The HDD is working fine. Fairy and Eos are pretty excited to be in the Outer Ring, but it's a new environment, so it'll take some getting used to. Yeah. Let's warm up for the Turd Inferno with the work we 
got on hand. All right, Belle. If you're ready, let's get going. Uh, okay, doesn't matter which one we're going to do first. Oh, <laughs> this is a bug. This is like the line. If you're Bell, I guess. And this one's the line if you're Wise. But they're both in the same box. <laughs> okay, because at first I saw this. I was like, there was no gap here. No space. And I was like, what is it actually saying? It's the same thing just twice. Well, unlucky. I'll go talk to them. Why not? Yo. Hello. See, I said the hole for long. Thanks to the sight of blood. I I feel a connection with you. Okay. Yeah, I'll learn more. I'm going to be in the sense of cat then. Not long, I've got less experience than Lucy. Why did you join? It's simple. And maybe an offer I couldn't refuse. It's more money to be made in the outer room than you might think. Interesting. When knees and neck aren't as fast as I'd like them to be. Sure. What are the tools? So data piles that you and Billy used in the hall before. And the E4 companies in the city are super cautious in their dealings, so you don't have so I just have to make do with these. Uh, ring still in the technology. No, even with the latest screen, it's difficult for E for technology in the outer ring to advance. It's just a complex and vast, especially if something as crucial as the Rosetta data being in the city. We still have oil though. So the outer ring doesn't rely on anyone else for energy. Okay. See ya later. This character, bro. There you are. Come on, take a seat. How about a Bernie special? Yes. Barton for the sun's card, then. What is for people or vehicles? The person makes everything they drink. The task is impressive. You can go down 200 liters of Bernie's special in one go. Yes. Okay, both people and vehicles need to stay fueled up. Some may just for a drink up. I'll drink it. What'd you put in it? Right. Sorry, let's make you a fresh one over top rated drink. Not feel that energy drink from your city that all the drivers are crazy about. Sure. What's on my mind? I'm on your flamethrower. You look great, right? It took a long time to finish the modifications. One of this shaker and the one had one is mixer. Just like press the carefully mixed fuel with like night into a bright flame. Corp parts in the black market. Badger's wrist respite and they reckoned they were military devices back from all they reduced full interesting they dated but they work like a charm fireball is a bit too fire lucy won't let me cook until i can handle it with precision okay is that a fixed place to say so on the surface well i think many people choose use the biker life as they had been tied down those are pals you free to roam the ring is just a massive playground you know Sure. Uh, of course, some companies have got a few cargo stores with campgrounds. They've got everything you need. Okay, right there as long as you need. Interesting. Catch you later. Cool. 
Now where is Lucy? Not on this side. Oh, Piper is there. Oh yeah, it wasn't Lucy, it was Piper, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it. Let's see. Hey, Dominoris. So, trucker's gonna task for you, so carry on. Just say hello. Where's this little old trucker's heart? Wait, you're clearly younger than me, right? Yeah, my secret is a little trucker standing here in front of you. He's actually one of the most experienced drivers here. And all you need for drivers and assistants to run is a piece of paper and an iguana's paw print. I'll take mom's. Oh, she takes care of the campgrounds. Makes sense. Yeah. What's your role? Heavy duty trucker. Okay. She is pretty experienced. Can hold all your proxy gear with ease. Super reliable. Run us through thick and thin. And now we don't have another panel of the same model. We are cashed in on problems from Bounty. We might have earned enough money to find the body for Steel Tusk. Are you participating? Uh, it's three members. Uh, something. They need three people. She's not a cycle, a motorcyclist. Charge of shipping oil instead. Hmm. Catch you later. Okay. I'm done. It's cinema time. Oh, wait, what is just here? <laughs> okay. 114 combat? Now you're playing. Oh wait, they're all combat. Oh. I see. Oh yeah, it's either like buying or gathering data, right? Yeah, let's go buy. I get. Uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> Good cinema time. Nice, these guys. Caladon are here as expected. Let's move. Stick to the plan. <laughs> Why are they furries, man? That's crazy. The place that refits old vehicle parts is just past the hollow entrance. We'll be there soon. Hold on. Actually, I have a question. I heard from Bell that the factory in the hollow sells parts after they've been sorted. If that's the case, why not just buy them outside the hollow? It's simple, really. With so many bikers in the old oil field, the leftover parts that do end up reaching the market are the ones that no one wants. Exactly. It's like if you want top quality fresh fish. Someone has to set out to sea early in the morning and use an airship to get the ingredients back to the kitchen. You're overcomplicating things. But what do you expect from a Montefio? Proxy, it's way easier for us to come into the hollow to buy stuff compared to the hassle city folks go through just to have a meal. <laughs> That intro is crazy. God, this character is like just pure cinema. It's crazy.
Okay. Just immersed. Victory's mine. <laughs> See? Told ya. <sighs> you redefine dumb luck. Push. I get it. Okay. Oh, so that's like thing in the air that's only from the ulti. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Inferno is over. No. What? what the heck's going on? Some youngsters came by this morning and bought up all of my stock. Huh? I warned them that buying up everything would make things difficult for my other customers. But the Thyron girl leading them seemed awful fiery and oh, it's these guys. Well above uh -huh. market price. Oh. She said she's from the Sons of Caledon and that they were prepping for the big challenge since they finally got a spot to compete. Wait, do we have any Thyrens? Grassy, Woody, and Bricky aren't girls, right? Oh, Bernice, the heart of the matter is that someone impersonated us and bought everything here. Wait, what did you say? Ugh. We're the real sons of Caledon. We have no idea who those other people are. Oh, damn. Not only did they keep us from getting parts, they also tarnished our reputation. They played their hand well. Well. The whole thing just feels wrong to me. If you can persuade her to change her mind, I won't object. Just uh, don't mention it was me who told you. Where did those people go, old man? Oh, after they bought everything here, they headed straight to the abandoned vehicle graveyard deeper in the hollow when they heard there were more parts there. Yes, let's go. Looks like we've still got a chance to catch them. Mm -hmm. Let's get going, Proxy! I need oh, to get to the vehicle graveyard to get my bike back. Can we make it in time? It's okay. Wise asked Piper to bring the vehicles here. This way. There's a spatial fissure nearby. Wait. I need to investigate everything. We'll be able to rendezvous with her soon. Oh, I knew we could kill her. 
Ouch. than Bernice. That's crazy. Why is Fairy going in on her? That's... Okay. Shit, some unhinged AI activities. Bro, like, come on. Are you looking at this? of the bar at the top left like you can just do the heavy attack anymore later oh cinema time oh no I will kill them I was thinking since we have the upper hand we might as well call Whoa. it a day. but seeing you like this Really brings out my predatory instincts. <laughs> That's a line, is it? Damn. So, so warm. Are you crazy? I mean, yeah. What is happening? I'm trying to learn how to play this character. They're just chatting. Yeah. Hey, 
The Aboba is crazy. It means the refitted parts will be returned, and I'll give up the parts from the vehicle graveyard. So let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Huh. Pretend none of this ever happened? What? Feeling hard done by? After I bought the parts, no one else should have come by. This shouldn't affect the Sons of Caledon's reputation. Besides, if my employer finds out I failed, it won't do me any good either. So I'll say the job's done. You benefit from this too. Pretend none of this ever happened? Come on, what's your deal? What more do you want? Oh, but... But we were having so much fun just now! Uh, what? Kitty, you're really good. I've never seen a Thyrin as skilled and cute as you before. Cute? Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, like for real. But... And it looks like the legends are true. Cat Thyrins aren't loyal to their masters. Huh. Well, I'm just a mercenary working to get paid. God, is she raising her up? Not my employer. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of him. But I can't reveal his identity. I don't want to cause trouble for myself, so don't even go there. That's okay. We won't ask. Hey, Bernice, this isn't your decision to make. <laughs> Leave her be, Lucy. Once Bernice has her mind made up, nothing's gonna change it. Kitty, if you don't like your current employer, why not join the Sons of Calidon? Now you're talking. <laughs> Aren't you afraid I'll betray you? No one's safe from the sharp claws of a cat firing. Don't worry, I've heard that kitties choose to partner up with only the strongest. The Sons of Calidon can definitely live up to that. We'll see. Once you've actually proven you're the strongest, at least. And stop calling me Kitty! I do have a name. It's Pulkra. Okay, Pulkra. Let's play again next time. With a playmate who doesn't know their own strength? I think I'll pass. But... I am partial to warm places. Huh. So that just happened. Wow. I guess Bernice has something to look forward to when they win. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how Twitter is going to react to that. Ready and waiting. Awaiting further instructions. Who? Why is Bernice not here, man? Wanna let's stir up some trouble. Hmm. Actually, let's Awaiting further instructions. Use you. Ready and waiting. Uh, do you have the thing equipped? No. Awaiting further instructions. Wait, actually, for her, did I say? Yeah, now she's on the sparklight engine. Starlight. Ready and waiting. Yeah. Ooh, nice. That's not bad. Awaiting further instructions. Oh. Somewhere inside the hollow. Bell, sons of Calidon, can you hear me? Our mission is to collect hollow data. Bell, you should be familiar with the process. Got it. We just have to put enough data piles in the safe areas. Oh, is this type of mission? Unlike Billy, we won't let the Ethereals chase you around. 
Speaking of which, I've been curious for a while now. Lighter always calls Billy brother. What's the story there? Oh, that's because every biker gang in the old oil field has champions. Lighter and Billy are our champions. The first overlord established that any gang joining the League must act with honor. Normally, the overlord mediates disputes, but if he's not around or an agreement can't be reached, they settle it with a duel. That's where the champions come in. <laughs> the boss is right. Champions bear the honor or humiliation of the entire gang. We also serve as the leader's bodyguards. However, considering the boss's strength, she really doesn't need protecting. What did Big Daddy say again? Ah, a ruler doesn't need to be the strongest or the smartest. Just someone who can unite the masses. But in the Sons of Caledon, I just so happen to be the best fighter. <laughs> How can you say that? Lighter doesn't have enough to do, and it's all because you can't control your temper and get into fights yourself. <sighs> I even had to find other tasks for him to do. <laughs> Proxy, to be honest, for the longest time, I thought Lighter was here just to do odd jobs. Well, Lucy sure knows how to get the most out of the money she spent. Unlucky, I guess. She's so big, man. That's crazy. Great, it's just up ahead. Data pile one initializing. Wait, so does that bad boo just drive them into us so we can attack like all of them? That seems pretty good for like small enemies, no? Installation location has been marked. Lucky it's not too far this time. Cool. Grab that data pile and let's move. Right away, your highness. Data pile two initializing. Either let me help. Activation complete. We just need to install that was easy. The perfect installation location has been selected for you. It'll be a lot more perfect if it were closer to us. Data pile three initializing. Watch out, more serious incoming. Open fire. That soldier is so cool, man. Kind of wish they would do that like the last mission for her, like. Like relationship thingy. Oh, no, but she's kind of random though. She's like just someone that we picked up from like some random ass commission. There we go. these guys doing here? Warning. 
Oh. You are dying. Oh, they took it. What the fuck? <laughs> Come back. This was barricaded. Sure looks like it. Biosignals detected nearby. Hurry up! There they are! Chest. Lighter. Lighter. Do you know those people? I don't think so. But judging by their get-ups, they are in the biker gang too. Loud mouth. It's clear you certainly know how to talk a big game, but we're not buying it. Look at these piles. There's no number on them at all. At all. The numbers on the data piles are gone? You see, these data piles were just abandoned in the hollow. Unclaimed equipment. Well, you're gonna have to die then. The rules, it's Goodbye. Keepers. You can stop talking now. Time crooks, but you've clearly come prepared. S Lucy, what are you talking about? To grind off numbers engraved on a metal surface in such a short time, you'd need a specialized grinder. Since they've even gone to the lengths of preparing that kind of equipment, they must have planned for this well in advance. Ah, I see. <laughs> Since Lucy doesn't want me meddling, I'll leave this to you, Lighter. Got it, boss. Looks like it's my time to shine. Listen up. I may not know the reason, but it looks like you're looking for a duel. <laughs> yeah, since we're all bikers, this is the only fair way to solve a conflict. Lighter, they say you haven't lost a single duel since becoming a champion of the Sons of Caledon. It's time to remind you of the Who's this guy? of defeat. Why is he chained? <laughs> I don't think you'll be forgetting the Ember Arena anytime soon. So why is the voice changing? <laughs> yes. It was tough going for you for a while, huh? <laughs> Taste of pain must still be fresh in your memory. <laughs> to be straight with you. Our champion's from there too, but while you were twiddling your thumbs, he built up a 20-fight winning streak. Wait, it can't be. <laughs> but you're shaking in your boots, Lyda. That's right, you know just who we're talking about. Uh, sorry, what, what's his name again? Like, actually, no. Oh, it's the monkey. Yes, <laughs> it's me, Balam. You ended my 21 streak, you cocky bastard. Just because you had some skill, Papia, and handsome, you think you could just forget my name? Wait, did he yeah. just say you're handsome twice? Balam, huh? That's cool. I'll remember you. Don't give me the 
trap! You've already said that three times! <laughs> Enough talking! Oh, today! Right here, right now! That was funny. Wait, chill X, man. Life is pain. That's what. This guy's so edgy. I'll take responsibility for this. Okay. Okay. Understood, Bellum. I'm gonna invite this guy as well. I came here to face you. Now that we fought, according to league rules, I concede defeat. I just didn't expect that after all these years. I still couldn't beat you and reclaim my honor. No, you're wrong. You never needed to reclaim any honor in the first place. I didn't mean to forget your name. It's just that everything in the underground fighting scene means nothing to me. What? Hurting an opponent for money, taking a dive for money. <laughs> that life has nothing to do with honor. Only those with no choice step into the ring. You were no different back then. You've got the skills to leave that place behind and become a biker gang's champion. Why leave your heart in that dark, cramped hellhole? <coughs> Ladder, you... You mean... Be grateful for the Outer Ring. It doesn't care about your past or where you come from. If you've got the skills, you rewrite your fate. If you just want to test your mettle against me, say the word. I'm down any time. After all... I've got a rival that I've been itching to challenge for a while now. I... I mm. will. Okay. But, uh, That's gonna uh, be interesting. Thank you. No problem, Bal... Ba ba Bellum. Uh, <laughs> ba -bo -bo Bellum. You never intended on remembering my name. You're just messing with me again. Wait, aside from the name thing, I meant everything I said. It doesn't make me feel any better. That's funny. Okay. It's Mr. Meat Burritos and Mr. Meat Skewers. We're not phased at all. Message. Oh, that's a profile picture. Damn. Hello. If we had a hut behind the gas station, yeah, come alone. Okay. Yo. Proxy, sorry to call you here so late. I'll cut to the chase. I have an extra commission for you, and I need you to keep it secret. Okay. Can you explain more? You must have noticed. Lately, every time we go into the hollows, we're met with one obstacle after another. Ugh, it's clear someone has it out for us. I did a background check on Bellum and Polkra. There's no public info linking them to any biker gang, but I bet they've got something to do with the Vanquishers. What? No way. I feel the same. After all, the Tour d'Inferno is a duel between your factions. Also, knowing Lucius, there's no way he's not involved. 
<sighs> but we don't have solid proof, so we can't do anything about it. Proxy, I expected some tricks from our rivals, but something's off. Their intel is always right on the money. If they didn't know about our plans ahead of time, how could they keep getting the jump on us? Someone in town must be feeding intel to the Vanquishers. Do you need me to help out? Cool. Not for now. I need to narrow down the suspects first. Okay, so why are we talking then? I might need your help further down the line, though. Don't worry. Faithen will take the commission. Thanks. Oh, and just a reminder, don't tell the others. Especially Bernice and Caesar. Bernice can't keep a secret. And as for Caesar, well, never mind. Her brain may be smaller. You really care about Caesar, huh? N no way! Hm. I have intel Caesar doesn't know, which means I have the upper hand. That's all. Anyway, I'll contact you once I get a breakthrough. Wait okay. for my word. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, Lucius. I don't know what's him. So, uh, let's make another do his dirty work. Mercenaries are keeping the hands clean. He's been using these tricks. Okay, I mean, we already saw that in the cutscene. He was involved in that accident when he first came out to the other ring. Yes. That's crazy. Okay. It's okay. I'm out. Same. Yeah, we're now at the house. Next to the mayor's building. back what did Lucy say there's something nearby that's more concerning Lucy, it might take a while bell since we're free for now let's get back and do our own things yeah it's getting late let's go let's take a break oh she does like the bed okay it smells fresh and clean And a new day is here. Hello. Take me back up. Take me. Okay. Uh, Bernice is back. And are these guys back? Yeah. Okay. So it's just like, if you want to talk to them in the past, you can talk to them now. from Lucy yet, but if you're curious, go ask her. Let's go. Just about to message you. Hmm. Gone. Uh, did you find out what the snitch was? Pretty much. Got it. So like in texting using like exclamation marks is so weird because like i don't know i feel like you could get like the same emotion just for typing the word you don't need the exclamation mark i don't know it's a weird one. Oh, proxy it's you are you looking for lucy yeah yeah wanted to go over the details of the Tour d'Inferno with Lucy. Ah, Proxy. You really know how to keep your mouth shut. That's good to know. I've said it before. If you can't keep a secret and are slow to react, you're not cut out to be a Proxy. Was that all... a test of my competency? So I passed then? Yep. You're the real deal, Proxy. Definitely someone the Sons of Calidon should work with long-term. 
Don't let Piper's usual careless facade fool you. She's actually pretty cautious. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just little old unreliable me. Little old. Anyway, let's get to the real issue. The informant problem. Here's the deal. Ever since we've set up camp here, I've noticed something odd. Every time Blazewood ships out their handicrafts, Casa always leaves town for two or three hours at night, carrying hollow gear with her. Since okay. Lucy told me there might be a mole, one night I pretended I couldn't sleep and talked to Casa when she was about to leave. She said she was out for a stroll because she also couldn't sleep, and then she just went back inside as if everything was normal. But an hour later, she snuck out of Blazewood again. No, not her, man. Looks like Casa could very well be the informant. Oh, the hot NPC. Terrible news. Casa's relationship with the Sons of Caledon goes back longer than I've been around. We set up camp here because of that trust. And to Caesar, Casa has always been like a big sister. Someone she can rely on. If she really has backstabbed us. The long-standing bond between Blazewood and the Sons of Caledon would be ruined. So, we have to investigate this discreetly. If we're right about this, we need to solve it without Caesar knowing. This is a tough situation. Damn. Like speeding downhill heading for a turn, but your brakes are out. But dwelling on the worst-case scenario won't help. We have to roll with the punches, because that's how the Sons of Caledon do. Piper's right. Dude. Once a wild boar charges, there's no backing down. Proxy, I heard there's another shipment going out in a few days. Uh, I've seen a lot of wild boars in Genshin, I'll tell you that much. We'll Charging without doing. stopping. The night has arrived. Cool. Man, so it's all just combat, eh? Awaiting further instructions. Hmm, which let's stir up some trouble. All right, we're in the hollow. Damn. How are things with Bernice and Caesar? I checked. Caesar's already asleep. That girl's got a routine like clockwork. And Bernice is all taken care of. What does that mean? With her the entire day to wear her out. Looks like tonight, the ethereals in the hollow won't taste my perfect one-hit KO. They got off lucky. Quit whining, Not this guy. If you'd hidden the nitro fuel better, we wouldn't be in this mess. All right, let's get moving. Only the three of us and the proxy can handle this now. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. It's Casa. Bro, this music goes crazy, nah? Huh? Jane is still the queen. That's crazy. If this character ever becomes bad, I'm gonna cry. Ouch. Ow. I'm, I'm bad. What is the chest? Never mind. Oh. Go! 
I wonder if she's gonna become like Kafka. Like she's really good at the beginning because she's easy to build, but then she's obviously gonna fall off compared to other characters, which is sad. But uh, looks like this isn't the right way. Also, no chests. Hmm. I don't wanna miss one. I know I can do the like the thing where you can like. Spent time to go get the other medals, but the final act begins now. Wait, is a dialogue also makes their voices in combat louder, which I mean, I guess makes sense. Locked, no clues about Cass's whereabouts. What brings you back, Master? It was a napping. Hey, you're the Master, you're the one in the pointy ears. Or the tail guy. Who are you? That's just the goods. Oh, Master asks you to come? The goods are fine. If there's no here, everything's all good. Pointy ears are a tall guy? It's very scary and I don't like them. I thought it came before Master, they said he was also sent by Master check on the cargo. Uh, the box I tried to by said it was fine. It's okay to tell you. Okay. Let's go for that fissure. Oh. Trike. Oh, there's no fissure around. What did they take? Hmm. It's the exit. Let's go. Wait. Give me a second. Right, so they changed the story from TVs to combat. Okay. Yeah. Again, like I said for the trailer. They're really trying to get rid of the TVs now. Which you mean I guess? Yeah, like that's good, but there's Kosa. Looks like she's waiting for someone. I mean it was fun sometimes. Oh my god. I'm here like I was told. Cinema time. Hello? Is anyone there? I thought we agreed. Morse? You were supposed to come alone. What are you talking about? Hand over the goods like you promised. Oh, is this guy that was with Lucius? <laughs> if you want the goods... Right, she just stood there. God, that's so much aura. That's crazy. Or... I'll just take it from the sons of Caledon. Wait, what? You're mine now, and my prey never escapes. Oh yeah? Bring it on! No. Morris Cossack, let's settle this right now! Fuck. Caesar trusted you. What are you doing running with them? Hang on, Lucy, I can explain. What? You guys met up here in secret. What else is there to explain? What did they hook you up with? Uh. It's not like that. It's just that the town is in dire need of necessities. Ever since the gas station ran out of gas, they've been running low on money and resources. Wait, the, I'm gonna wait for them to talk. I feel like I'm killing this guy too quick. Never mentioned any of this before. Are we done? It looks like it. No, you're the prey. You're the prey. More cinema time. But this guy is so just he thinks he's so bad. Shit, lighter is kinda cool, I do wanna 
I would like to get him, but... What just happened? Caesar, you're here! Caesar, calm down and listen to me! Costa and the Overlord... Enough! I know. These supplies will get corrupted if left in the hollow. Casa. Take them with you. Uh. Huh? Oh. Oh my god, it's cinema time. Overlord Pompey? Damn. It's been a while. The fuck is this guy? Jeez. To think that little sprout by Big Daddy's God, they didn't hold back on this guy's design. To challenge me. Overlord Pompey, while the sons of Caledon still recognize you as the leader of the Motor League, you'd better explain why you're here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That will be addressed soon enough. But first, there's a more pressing matter. Caesar, these goods are what the Vanquishers promised to deliver to Blazewood. Are you deciding to let the mayor take them? Don't push your luck. Lucy, wait. I heard you arguing with Casa earlier. I checked these boxes. They really are food and medicine. They weren't lying. No matter where they came from. These are things the town needs. But... Casa... If you're in a bad spot... Why didn't you ask us for help? We've known each other for years. Caesar, I was actually planning to ask you for help. But then okay. you came in all excited, telling me you qualified for the Tour d'Inferno and asked if you could stay in Blazewood for a while. The Sons of Caledon have helped Blazewood so much over the years. At a crucial time like this, we have no way to repay you. So how could we make you worry about this for us too? Repay? Selling us out to the Vanquishers is your idea of repaying us? Selling you out? Wait, Lucy, I've never betrayed you. I just made a deal with the Vanquishers. We trade the handicrafts we make for supplies. She's telling the truth. Although you have the favor of Blazewood, as the Overlord, I couldn't turn a blind eye to the needs of the residents. So I presented them with an opportunity. When Casa okay. suggested moving the trade to the Hollow to avoid any misunderstandings, I agreed. After all, we can't disrupt the peace among League members. So you're saying the leak about our whereabouts has nothing to do with you? Standing your ground is a good trait, but not knowing when to back down is just disrespectful. I'm here to resolve this matter. Today I found this in the handicrafts Blazewood delivered. The ball made using of iron. There's an electronic chip inside. No. Moors, this vial should have contained heavy oil, the lifeblood of the old oil field. So why is this here? <sighs> also, the supplies delivered to Blazewood of late seem to be less than what was agreed upon. Wait, this guy's a good guy. Do you know anything about this? Oh. Pompey, I, I... Moors, I didn't bring you along for the Tour d'Inferno just for you to play dirty tricks. If we, as the League Overlords, are not just, then who would want to remain part of the League? And who would protect the old oil field? I'm so sorry. I messed up. I wasn't thinking straight. It's all my fault. I'll take the punishment. You're willing to take your punishment. Do you think you alone can bear the responsibility for the damage that you've caused? Sons of Caledon, Casa. Moors is my subordinate. I failed to manage him properly. I won't shift the blame onto him. As the current overlord, I'll take responsibility for this and Same. provide compensation. <laughs> nice speech. Now how do you plan to fix this? Recently, I negotiated and reached cooperation agreements with several areas neighboring the old oil field. According to the agreement, the old oil field's damaged oil pipelines can be rebuilt through other regions. As long as we provide some of the oil to them. Wait, does that mean our town's oil supply is saved? That's right. 
Within three months, the supply should be restored. Also, oh, this guy is pretty giga chat. The roads, what the fuck? Opening up at least five new freight routes for the old oil field. Sons of Caledon. In the next six months, I plan to have you manage three of these routes. I take it you won't refuse. You mean you're just gonna hand them over on a silver platter? I heard you've been drawing bad routes lately. Though it's just a coincidence, it's time to compensate you. And though the new routes are lucrative, they also traverse treacherous areas and require experienced riders. I have a condition, though. You need to help the less fortunate residents in these three regions for free during this period. And any teams using the routes in the future must do the same. How does that sound? Hmm. Okay. Lucy, how are the terms? Are they really as good as he says? If it's true, it does solve our long-standing issues with Blazewood. Plus, with expanded routes, the other biker gangs would see a significant income boost. Hmm, I see. Hey, oh man! Your terms are certainly interesting. But it looks like you're making assumptions. The title of Overlord and who gets to allocate the roots hasn't been decided yet. If I become Overlord, I'll be fairer than you. <laughs> you can certainly talk the talk. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, I agree. Caesar, here's a letter of commitment I wrote myself. The root allocations will be officially announced soon. See you at the Tour d'Inferno. See you at the Tour d'Inferno. Damn, so that was like a good ending. Huh? Not bad. Okay, such a giga chat though. That's crazy. There's Pompeii. Yeah. So, it turns out... Oh yeah, she was just sleeping. Blazewood for processing and was listening in on our conversations. Yes, and once the goods were processed and shipped out, they could discreetly retrieve the listening device. It's a flawless plan. If that's the case, why did the Overlord reveal this? At that point, we hadn't even discovered the listening device. Mm -hmm. Even if we hadn't found the listening device. Once we cleared things up with Casa, we would have eventually started to suspect the handicrafts. That's right. If we found the bugs ourselves, things would have gotten out of hand. Is there a difference? Yeah. Oh, Bernice, always so optimistic. The Overlord stepping up shows some sincerity, at least. If we had confronted him, even if it was all Moore's is doing, we wouldn't have accepted his terms, right? Mishandling this could have shaken the foundations of the Motor League. Jeopardizing the safety of the old oil field. It would have caused that much trouble? Yes. We've been able to live relatively peacefully, thanks to the League ensuring the security of our oil resources. You have to understand, our oil isn't just coveted by other regions in the Outer Ring. Big city companies see it as the only thing stopping them from expanding into the Outer Ring. If something happens to the oil, the biker gangs might have a chance to move to other areas. But everyone else won't be so lucky. Especially Blazewood. The residents are mainly the elderly or children, and their ether aptitude is weak. Damn. Oh, Proxy! There you are! Sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Later. Proxy, I want to discuss Caesar. Ever since we met with the Overlord, she's been acting weird she's usually straightforward and energetic but lately she's just been sitting on her own lost in thought she's even eating less than usual okay caesar's worried about something it's strange right lighter offered to train for the turd inferno with her and she said she'd think about it i think it's related to what happened that day but if I ask her, she won't tell me the truth. <clears throat> uh, just so you know, I don't really care what's wrong with her, but she's still the yeah, leader yeah. of the Yeah, yeah, keep Kaladin, yapping. And I can't let her affect the others. Proxy, can you come up with something? How about I take Caesar out for some fresh air? Lucy, how about I take Caesar out to take her mind off things? I'm planning to head back to New Eridu tomorrow to copy some offline data. It might be a good opportunity. That's a good idea. 
and Caesar hasn't been to New Eridu much. You can show her around. All right, I'll handle Caesar. Tomorrow, have her take you to New Eridu on her bike. I'll leave the rest to you. Cool. Central Caesar is the information leak. Should be relieved, right? That sound like Caesar style. How about taking Caesar for a stroll? Yep. It's getting late. It sure is. Level group, let's go. Let's go to bed. Cool. Going shopping with Caesar? Mm. Crazy. Hello. You're here, especially when you're heading back to New York to cover the data. A huge help. Maybe you're since like a bodyguard this time. Let's get started. Let's go. It's cinema bike riding time. Here's later. So this is where the famous Faithin lives and runs a video store. <laughs> that reminds me. Sometimes Lucy comes all the way to New Eridu just to see movies that feature her favorite stars. Caesar, you haven't been to New Eridu much, have you? When we do get business in the city, we get hold of temporary entry permits. But I rarely make the trip. I was born and raised in the Outer Ring. I still prefer a place that gives you the freedom to roam. Let's explore the city. How about we explore the city today? I'll be your tour guide. We have some time while the data copies, and there is nothing else to do here while we wait. All right, you're the boss. Oh, what are we doing? Uh, shopping, maybe. All right, to Lumina Square it is. Watch a movie. Those his cities are huge. On block. You guys have cinemas. Large rooms of video player. Can't drive in cinemas. Today. Oh. Even do get off for a good spot. <laughs> hmm. It's not usually this crowded. That's why I'm for gravity cinema. Award winning movie. Hmm. Fort Peak. Nah. Awesome, it's thriller day. Yes. Belle's favorite. It's an odd one out. You're talking about Coffee Main, right? That's a little romantic comedy. Today's pick for its heart racing effect. Because of coffee? <laughs> Into this one? Is trying to hide something? Yeah, let's go for coffee, mate. It's your heart racing, right? Yes. All right, let's go. Oh, she's actually just geeking out. Cool. Feels like I've discovered the sign of Caesar. <laughs> Why am I smiling? Why did you enjoy that? Hmm. 
Let's go drink. Oh, the crossing is open. Nice. Catch you later. Yeah. Okay. Hello, some tea milk. Hello. Eat? Yeah. Skin uncovering the tea milk and green cheese that sits assured all the toppings on the menu to be had. <laughs> right. That's why I remember here. Say that's from starving. Or Reg. A regular. We've seen the movie and had oh, our drinks. Okay. Where should we go next? We've got some time to kill. How about we take a stroll nearby? There are nice shops in Lumina Square. We can stop whenever something catches our eye. Okay, let's go. Everyone, watch out! Stay away from that fugitive! What? Uh -oh. A burly man. That guy has a dangerous look in his eyes. Those guys chasing him don't stand a chance. Take care of yourself, Bell. I'll be right back. Hello, Bell? Okay, where are you? Caesar, where are you? Are you okay? Don't worry, don't worry, I'm fine. I already caught the guy. Don't forget I'm even stronger than lighter. And besides, you weren't that concerned about me when I was dealing with ethereals before. Oh. Humans are sometimes more dangerous than ethereals. Wow, that's so old school. You sound just like Big Daddy. So, are you still nearby? I got totally turned around chasing Do I know? Alleys, so, I'm a little lost right now. Mm, tell me more. Give me a minute, I'll come to you. Hey. Hey, Belle. Can you hear me? Hello. Her phone died? Nah. It's causing trouble. Oh, she's talking back. Recrawl. I can almost like 10. Quite a lot of mercy from a few kids. Hmm. Goodbye. Okay, so where did Bell go? He's running out. <laughs> Why should I stick around for I just want to enjoy my tea milk?
And so she realized that we're doing this. So she can relax. Let's go back to the bike. They're moving though. Jeez. Like, she looks so weird in the city. I don't know. Like, she does look like she's from, like, not here. It's interesting. Let's head back to 6th Street. The data should have finished copying by now. And it's getting dark. Let's head back to the outer ring. Thanks for showing me around today. Seems like everywhere in New Eridu is just as busy as the old oil field's biggest market. Badger's respite. So many respite. strange and wonderful things. No wonder a lot of people from the outer ring want to live here. Haven't you ever thought about it, Caesar? With your skills, you could apply for citizenship. Me? Uh, never thought about it. Even now, being here in the city, I still feel like I belong in the Outer Ring. Belle, it really is you. Long time no see. Damn, it really I has. I a note on your door saying you'd be away for a while, but I didn't expect it to be this long. Chop told me he saw you were back, so I came over to check. How are you guys? We're doing good. Thanks, Enzo. Just visiting friends for a few days. I happen to be one of those friends. We'll take good care of Bell and Wise. <laughs> With such a friendly host, we neighbors can rest easy. I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, just drop by my store. Is that guy your neighbor, Proxy? You seem close. I always heard people in the city aren't as close to one another. But from what I've seen today, people seem pretty friendly here too. You asked if I ever thought about living in the city. I guess with so many close friends in the outer ring, I've just never thought about leaving. So, if I want to really protect them, I can't do that. Damn. Are you talking about becoming the Overlord? Yeah, Proxy. I've been thinking a lot these past few days. Growing up with the stories of the Torrid Inferno, I always wanted to become the Overlord to prove I was the strongest. But being the Overlord is more than just being the strongest. Even though Pompey's men caused trouble, he stepped in and resolved the situation. He even took care of the problems in Blazewood and with the Sons of Caledon. I only just found out the reason the Overlord hadn't been seen for the past six months is because he had been working on negotiations with the other regions. I would have never thought of doing that. I didn't even know it was an option. When he laid out the terms, Lucy immediately saw the benefits of the new routes for the old oil field. But I only understood after she told me. Casa has been working tirelessly for the town, Bearing the brunt of all the pressure. Compared to them, I still have a long way to go. Damn. Realizing your shortcomings is the first step to becoming a better person. And you have your strengths too, Caesar. When you found those goods in the hollow, you didn't get angry. You let Casa take them out first. At the time, we all thought Casa had betrayed us. But you still thought of the town's residents first, worrying the items would be corrupted in the hollow. <laughs> I think anyone else would do the same, right? Making sure everyone has enough to eat is more important than my pride or my feelings. But hearing you say that makes me feel a lot better. I might not be the smartest, but like a wild boar, Damn. once I set my sights on a target, I won't let up until I chase them down. Besides, I've got a great group of friends supporting me. Now it's time to focus on Torrid Inferno. Pompey is a great opponent. This time, we'll find out once and for all who's the best. Uh, she's feeling so much better. Nice. Let's return to the outer ring. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. Let's go.
Parked in a private parking lot in New York. Well, there she is, I guess. Cheesetopia. What's that? <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, somewhere in the old oil field district. Boss, here's the new route distribution sheet. The newly expanded freight routes have been assigned to the sons of Caledon as per your instructions. Yes, I don't like this guy. Boss, you've worked so hard for these new routes. Are you really going to just hand them over? If it weren't for Moore stealing the intelligence, I wouldn't have had to go through all this trouble. By the way, Moore's insists he acted alone. What do you think? Well, boss, you know Moore's was also thinking of our best interests. <laughs> You're giving me the answer to a question I never asked. But you don't seem too surprised by all this. Wanting to win isn't a bad thing. But since I'm the reigning overlord, we have to act with integrity. The Motor League's stability ensures the safety of the oil wells. If there's infighting, someone's going to get taken advantage of. By the way, I heard that you've had a lot of dealings with companies in the city lately. Uh, that is absolutely oh, kill him. He's dead. It's just that we had some issues with just the kill him. gear we arranged for the oil refinery. At this point. find a way to handle it. I hope so. Lucius, you're smart and ambitious, but always eager for immediate results. Don't let your cleverness backfire. Yes, boss. <clears throat> these documents never end. I've been feeling exhausted these days. Am I getting too old for this? Not at all, boss. You've been talking about the Tour d'Inferno a lot lately. You're clearly raring to go. <laughs> well said. Caesar may have some potential, but she's not ready to replace me yet. But boss, please don't overwork yourself for the next few days. After all, for this grand event, you need to be in peak condition. But why would they want his guy to lose? Wouldn't they want to win? Who are you? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Start in the corner. Any last minute preparations? No. Let's go. To the Tour de Inferno. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, cool. Finally. The young get EOS started. Yes. Oh, this is also combat. Hmm. Awaiting further instructions. Ready and waiting. Ready for combat. So they found a starting point. All right. All right. Let's go. I'm looking. Jeez. And Jolly Jenny. Oh, it's time to play Mario Kart, I feel like. It's coming out of the trousers. That's kind of crazy. Is 
Like, is this guy plan that he's gonna die, because he's gonna be weak, and then they're gonna win somehow, and then he becomes Overlord? No way. gonna be a blast <laughs> you're quite confident little girl do your best and try not to bore me all right folks take your positions take your positions Oh, it's Caesar, Lighter, and Lucy. I'm surprised Bernice is in there. Why does I need the Lucy for the brains? Okay, I'm playing. I'm back in my element racing games. Bro, those fights, god damn. Mm -hmm. Anyway. A and D, hold the button. Get to use boost. Press the dodge button to do that. Okay. Below these things looks way too small. Whoa, that was close. What's where you're going? Wait, the boost. Button a little bit more. Is that all you got? Let's focus on your driving, okay? Watch out, it's getting more narrow up ahead. Maybe I'm supposed to boost through them to break them without slowing down? Same, by the way. Uh oh. Well, it's time to do the combat part of this, I guess. Proxy! Proxy! Wake up! Are you okay? Dang, that was quite an impact. Is your Bang Boo alright? I'm fine. What about the others? I don't know. Lucy and Lighter are missing. It's just you and me. When the boulder fell, the ground gave way and collapsed, forming a massive hole. And when I woke up, we were here. Master, due to the spatial distortion caused by the severe tremors, you have deviated from the planned route. Recalculating your position. 
Additionally, before the rockfall, a significant release of energy was detected coming from both sides of the road. Please proceed with caution. Hmm. A significant release of energy? An explosion? There were old oil facilities on that path. Did the explosion come from there? <laughs> What's this? When we fell in here, I got covered in this glittery dust. Dust? Dust. Now that you mention it, Eos is covered in it too. Hmm? hmm. Wait. Isn't this stuff the ether powder left behind after a pure ether explosive goes off? Bell, what did you just say? But the Outer Ring doesn't have advanced ether technology, and the city wouldn't sell such dangerous tech to the Outer Ring. So how did I it wonder? Get here? That can only mean Lucius, you motherfucker. Was no accident. How could you? What? Who did this? Couldn't be the Vanquishers, could it? But when we were at the starting line, Pompey told me to give him my all and give him a proper challenge. He seemed eager to compete. How could he stoop so low? Caesar, although we can't jump to conclusions, with an incident as serious as this, there's no way today's race can continue as planned. The drone should have gotten it all on camera. Bernice is watching the race. We have to tell her the truth and get her to call it off. Understood, second assistant. Connecting you now. Oh, hey, Proxy, it's you. What are you calling me for? Everything looks to be going smoothly in the hollow, and we haven't encountered any battles so far. Huh? Bernice, didn't you see what just happened? What? Did something happen? Bell, something's wrong. Ferry says the footage being broadcast has been tampered with. It's not just ours. Even the footage of the Overlord is fake. The footage from both sides has been swapped out. I don't think this is just about stopping us from winning the Tour d'Inferno. Yeah. Their actions suggest they aren't worried about getting exposed later. And there's ether explosives appearing where they shouldn't be in the outer ring. Could they be targeting Cinder Lake? Are you saying Cinder Lake might be in danger? Yes. Also because of the dealings yes, that he made with New Aridu companies. They want him to stop oil so they can move in here. Caesar, you're the leader of the Sons of Caledon and our client. Makes sense. So what's the plan? We can try to get out of the hollow right now and tell everyone about what happened. Or? You're stating the obvious, Proxy. We're heading to Cinder Lake. We can't just sit back and watch. As long as we can protect Cinder Lake, we'll figure the rest out. All right. Since you've come to a decision, yes. just leave the rest to me. Uh, wait. What are you all talking about? It sounds like something crazy happened, but it... Doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Bernice. I'll explain everything to you later. Bell, Caesar, you two should get going. You've got to regroup with Lighter and Lucy. But minutes later, yeah, Caesar managed to return to the surface. Oh yeah. Let's cool. go, Proxy. We don't have much time. Biosignals detected in the area ahead. There's no end to these things. Wait, actually, Caesar will make grouping in the beginning of the street defense level so much easier. Damn. That's crazy. Oh. No, oh, hello. That was fast. I have arrived. Yes. Caesar and the proxy. Seriously? I am here. What took you so long? Are you guys all right? Boss, don't worry. We're fine. But the collapse just now was not normal. Seems like it was caused by ether explosives. That's the conclusion we came to, too. Looks like someone is trying to harm Cinder Lake. We have to get there fast. Wait, if you're going to Cinder Lake, you need a bike. Note, I've already detected the coordinates of three motorbikes. <laughs> That's great news. Proxy, take us there now. 
All right. Let's go. Oh. Just no. Can I approach the figure? Why is it that move guy? Morse, yeah. That's weird. Why isn't he with the overlord and the others? Boss, that guy just now was holding a pair of binoculars. He seemed to be looking at something at the foot of the mountain. It's where the explosion happened. Moors, what's your status? Have you seen the sons of Caledon? Where have they gone to? Reporting in, boss. I've been monitoring their route as instructed. But I still haven't seen any sign of them yet. Still haven't seen them? Those young'uns know how to handle themselves. Now that they're facing some real trouble, they can't take it. <coughs> uh, boss? You okay? <laughs> Moors, of course the Overlord is fine. Didn't you see him cut down those ethereals just now? Uh, with the why is this guy here? Lucius, enough trying to suck up to me. After all these years with me, you still haven't gotten over those bad habits of yours. Turning tail and running at the first sign of danger, and underestimating your enemies when victory's within reach. As a biker and second in command of the Vanquishers, you aren't fit to lead with that attitude. Boss, I get what you're saying. I've always been slow to learn. If it wasn't for you, I would never have even seen the shadow of Cinder Lake. Enough. In the past, you would have fled at the mention of the Tour de Inferno. But now you've insisted on coming along. That counts as progress. Moors, keep an eye on the Sons of Caledon. We aren't far from Cinder Lake. Not good. The Vanquishers are way ahead of us. But by the sounds of it, Pompey knew nothing about the explosion. Is it just me, or does something feel off about that Moors guy? The explosion at the foot of the mountain just now caused a huge landslide. You can see the rising smoke and dust from here, even without binoculars. Proxy, you're onto something. Seeing something like that would usually cause alarm. Even if Moors was sent to spy on us. It's still weird that he didn't even mention this to the Overlord. Hey, Caesar, pipe down! Huh? Who's there? Shut up. Morse, time to surrender. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Flames. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Flames will obey me. This guy's such a coward. God. Boss, he escaped through the fissure. Morris must have had something to do with the explosion back there. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now's not the time for this. Focus on dealing with the affair. Oh, a little bit too quick. I dealt with him. The sons of Caroline talked a big game about having a showdown. But this has been disappointingly dull. Boss, you might have a soft spot for that Caesar, but it's their own fault for being so useless. <laughs> but dull can be a good thing. At least we won't have to worry about Cinder Lake for a few years. 
Okay. What's with all these ether crystals coming out of nowhere? The ether aggregation catalyst can accelerate the crystallization of free floating ether particles. This what a is snake. developed by City Enterprises to increase ether production, and it works wonders in the unique environment of Cinder Lake. Lucius, do you mean you? That's right, Pompey. I've replaced your spark stone. Cinder Lake will be completely extinguished soon. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention. When using this catalyst, the nearby ether concentration will skyrocket. Especially for those with a weak aptitude for ether, it will have serious consequences. <laughs> Thanks. How dare you? You won't get away with this. Kill him. Yes. Kill him. How dare you give me another scar? Kill him, kill him, kill him. You monster. Despite being so corrupted, you still have this much strength. To think I Nah, this guy's gonna turn. He's gonna be the boss. Nah. Do you understand the impact of colluding with the city's ether companies? What it'll do to this place? <laughs> Did you really think we all shared your old-fashioned ideals of freedom and morality, boss? The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control. No, you won't. What is it? Boss, we found the sons of Caladon. They're about to reach Cinder Lake. What? All those explosives didn't take them out? We have to retreat for now. Seeing Cinder Lake snuffed out would have been a 90, but now it's down to a 60. Sorry, boss. Time to say goodbye. At least you'll be out of your misery. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered. What a snake. You disappointed you couldn't face the sons of Caledon in a final showdown. God, this guy pisses me off. That's crazy. Not Pompeii, man. He got done like that. Like the Kulex character in this story. No cap. What's going on? There aren't any cameras near Cinder Lake, so we can't be sure. But it's definitely not a good sign. Damn. Does that mean we're too late? No matter what, Lucy. We have to get there as fast as we can. Roxy, where are our bikes? The Fisher took them to a place not too far away. Come with me. Barry, how's the situation at Cinder Lake looking? Rising ether concentration levels detected. I have also detected that Cinder Lake's heat signature is shrinking. I knew it! Cinder Lake is in trouble. We're yeah. almost there! Our rides are up ahead! Let's roll. Oh, this is gonna be sad. We're almost there. Cinder Lake is just ahead. Caesar, that's old man! Hang in there! The corruption is too severe. Caesar! Something's wrong with Cinder Lake! There are ether crystals everywhere! What on earth happened here? It's Lucius. He betrayed me. We'll get you out now. We can deal with the rest There's later. no time. Caesar, listen. You, you must protect Cinder Lake. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, sorry, because the rider boss. Oh my god. Absolute cinema. Damn. Damn, look at this guy, bruh. Wait, that was just the bike by itself, I know it's him. Oh my god. Posing like that. <laughs> what is happening? Basic attack. So annoying. Okay. Oh, that also looks fun. Yeah, not worry, sound will be fun. That's for sure. She didn't fall. Yeah. I'm here. I'm fine. We finally did it. But the central lake. gonna corrupt. It'll be completely extinguished. How ironic. Even with the spark stone, it's too far away. There's nothing we can do. Without oil, what does Lucius plan to do with the old oil field? Unless a miracle happens. Huh? Miracle, you say? I'll get the spark stone there. Uh, what? Wait, no, Caesar, you can't be. Caesar, have you lost your mind? You'll die. Caesar. <laughs> he just jumped down. Yeah. <laughs> 
this is kind of peak, I'm not gonna lie. But why are we acting like she's gonna die? Don't look at me like that. Because I'll start to feel afraid. Wait. Nah, no, 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 no. Or is it like the Pompey came back and saved her or something? Watch, watch. Nah, nah, nah. That is so peak. There's no way. What? Nah. I refuse. But this cutscene is so good. Watch, 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 watch. It's not over yet. Where is it? <laughs> I just so cliche, that was crazy. A miracle. pretty nice that definitely nearly got me because i was like this game may do that well, like may kill right. characters We're ready to head back home i feel like if a game will do that is this game Roxy, good thing you haven't left i almost missed seeing you off caesar i told you shouldn't have rushed over here so when all feels going to be there to keep things under wraps i told you i'm just the acting overlord Okay, another day, bug. If I'm not talking there. The sparkstone that was replaced by Lucius, he was the first one to reach the finish line. The Overlord title should be his. No. Caesar, speaking of Lucius, any news on his whereabouts? Nothing yet. We haven't found his man Moore's either. <laughs> that no good snake. Snake. We sent Bernice and Piper to cut him off, but he got away. Looking through the stuff he left behind. We found evidence that he was colluding with an Ether Corporation in the city. Combined with Eos's recordings that day. The old oil field bikers are well aware of what he did. Proxy, I didn't get to thank you after leaving the Hollow. We saved Cinder Lake thanks to you. Name. You're too kind. All I did was get you to the end safely. When the lake was about to go out, I thought we were done for. All I could do was watch as you rode away. Getting further and further from us. Hey, don't get emotional on me. I was saved by the fissure hidden under the vent. Isn't it crazy? That's crazy. That down? Bro, it would have been better if Pompey saved her, man. That was like such a. I don't know. I'm not satisfied with that. It's kind of lame. But it's cool. Still, the cutting was sick. The fissure, particles are unable to stabilize, preventing it from being sealed off. Due to the balance between the natural gas and the ether particles, the fissure won't be moving anywhere. It's probably been there for decades. Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. When the first overlord reached the lake, maybe that's where he jumped in too. <laughs> Who'd have thought the legend of the first overlord was true? Well, this was an unexpected discovery. People back then didn't know about the fissure. And the first overlord probably forgot oh, what I see. So that's where the divine intervention part uh, of the legend came from. True, but isn't the existence of a fissure right in the middle of Cinder Lake already pretty divine intervention-y? <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you remember what happened after you fell into the fissure? Parts of it, but it's hazy. I thought I was done for in the darkness. I thought I would lose consciousness pretty quickly. But I could feel every part of the overwhelming pressure as I passed through the fissure. Then, I saw a light in the darkness, and instinctively pulled back on the throttle and sped towards it. Next thing, 
I came out right on top of you all. It was unbelievable. After you said, we meet again, the next thing out of your mouth was, Lucy, if I die, the Sons of Caledon are yours. She's Damn. always had her eye on taking over as the leader of the Sons of Caledon. And in that moment, I suddenly realized that I'd never made that clear before. I thought she'd be relieved, but that lunatic jumped up, shouted, I don't want your leftovers, and straight up slapped me in the face. Good. It's your fault for saying that. Lucy was still crying when we left the hollow. Yeah, Lucy was really scared I would die. But now everything's fine. Both me and Cinder Lake. Since you're heading back to the city, let me give you something as a memento. Oh, that's nice. Does it have a listening device? Oh, it's a sunflint. Yeah, <laughs> all of the sons of Caledon chipped in. It's a shame I didn't have time to help with the weaving. I just drew the design in the middle. That was like a special one, huh? It means a lot. I love it. You're always welcome in the outer ring, Proxy. May you rise from the ashes. Yes. Why not go and say goodbye? Ooh. The old first kind of situation. Before a rough patch. Vanishes might go a bit wild. I'll go to stay sharp. Cut out the overlord. Yeah. You've got good friends. Um uh, see the deal with other districts. Oh that is the first go to waste. Pompey got done dirty, man. That's crazy. Which is yet or able to chat. He has a bonus is ready to talk. Thanks. In touch, I'm missing you. Same. Damn. I didn't check that one before. Now this guy. <laughs> Yo. Young blood around and also just coming before the tour the inferno. Who sees there need more life lessons before she really understand the kids grow fast, huh? Happy if you're willing to chat with this old man, my young friend. Used to lead the sun's cabin. It's alright, I'm retired now, just handling some business stuff. Well, these kids could use a hand. It's not because they're lacking strength or smart, but because they were got to deal with some real dim bulbs. To make things easier, I've been to clear the air a bit. You don't talk like a typical outer ringer. I'm not gonna take a sacrifice on outer ringers, my friend. We're a mix back from all walks of life. I yeah, but one thing though, I'm not native to the outer ring, I'm from Eridu, the old one. Yeah. Goodbye. You. I'm oh, sorry, that work. I'm sure if you need help with anything. Hope we look together again. Where have you been late? Been keeping me in mind. I've been on the road. Yeah, because she's like been delivering all that stuff. Got there before anyone starts spreading rumors. Hmm. I should be going to town to town on that. Yeah. I've only been away for three days. You're a fatigue driver, aren't you? <laughs> I'd come back in time to say goodbye in person. <laughs> I can sort of bid a proper farewell. What you plan doing next? Well, I'll be tied up for a bit. Bahon and Pompeii are opening the new roads ASAP. Uh, only we'll be hitting the road again. At the time we have to wait. The young guys think they'll be there. That's the spirit. It's off to you. The little trucker blush. Nice. See ya later. Cool. You. So to my dear predecessor and brother from me if you get the chance. <laughs> Billy. What plan to do next? As the boss says, over on on the surface, but there's gonna be some who aren't willing to accept it. Okay, so she's gonna beat people up. Nothing too crazy. They'll be making her loose enough sleep as it is. It's probably to be so thoughtful. In yeah, pace, of course, I gotta take a load off my boss's shoulders for her. <laughs> be thinking, wouldn't well, be too bad just to stay with the sons of Calvin as a biker. Nice. Nothing like how I was back then. Edgy, 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 edgy. So the person you want to deal with is Billy. 
Mm. Makes sense, actually. Both champions. I uh, just didn't want to become master. I was born for battle. Really? He's been doing a good job finding his edge. First to him, he's already got the life of his dreams. Okay, some Billy backstory. Okay. Sounds intense. Man, you weren't much in the story, but you got your own one, so it's fine. See you later. We're the next. Went to our camp at the freight station. Let's look after my video store. Stay here too long and your bank be at home will worry. Yep. That's when you're the proxy, just as we're without a ring. See by our video store next time. Sure, let's hit the drink shop together. Uh, when I went to the last time, they were putting food in the drink. <laughs> yeah. We heard about that. Silver sounds are kind of taking the front. Don't forget to swing by. Ooh. And then I go tell Caesar, you gotta come back. Okay. Yeah. Course. Cool. And the last member. We ace the tour the infernal thanks to you. No jokes. Safe travels. Yeah, I'm gonna go back take a look, Lucy. Uh, back to near or back to my new home. Mm, no printing arises. After all, I'm the one hand numbers for the sons of Caledon in the city. I'm looking for Mr. Porter, we missing the public security and plastered wanted bosses ever. Hey, So into this whole find me game, playing along with it could be fun, don't you think? I wonder if that's, there's a little bit of like two in there coming, and maybe she does actually want to go back. Some other part of slap. Scissors realize our slip up. That's what that, what that boar thinks. Kind of put personal grudges aside, Caesar just needs to solidify her position at the new overlord. Damn. Uh, I should just do the new role quickly. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And there it is, I guess. It's like an endless scroll painting. And with the car's movement and bumps, the desolation of the outer ring slowly turns into the cause of new Eridu. I can't see Caesar and the others in the rearview mirror anymore. That must mean we've almost left the outer ring. I think this court us all this way. Mr. Wise, leave looking around to me and keep your eyes on the road. But it was nice of Caesar and the gang to escort us all the way to the edge of the outer ring. It feels like Cinder Lake was just about to go out. And now we're driving home listening to music. It seems almost like a dream. Hey. What's wrong, Wise? You sound a little emotional. Although we could only prove the fissure in Cinder Lake exists from its effects, apart from Caesar's bold gamble, there really was no other way to save it. But seeing Caesar fall, that helpless feeling, I never thought I'd go through it again. Just like that time. But more backstory. Wise. Bell? You really have to admit we're family in moments like this. You must be thinking the same thing. This is the edge of the city. Eos and Fairy are here too. It's time. To road away from the main avenue. Okay. Second assistant, you have deviated from your course. Recalculating a new route home. Don't worry, Fairy. We're going the right way. The road we're taking now is the real way home. Damn. City is heading to quieter and quieter areas. Or signs show few route options they go, eventually leaving only one destination. The old capital at the edge of the chasm. We're here. Let's go up. Come on, Eos. Don't forget your scarf. Oh my god. It feels like we haven't been back in a long time, Belle. Fairy, <laughs> do you know where this is? Search complete. This is the center of the chasm at the edge of New Eridu. The chasm, which preceded New Eridu, was the product of the large uncontrolled hollow disaster Damn. in Eridu, often called the fall of the old capital.
to deal with the out of control hollow zero during the fall of the old capital. Eridu's leaders at the time detonated the 14 Shuyu pillars from the southwest to the northeast. The power of the explosion sparked a strong geological chain reaction, bringing about the formation of the chasm. Oh, that's right. Interesting. There's nothing in the chasm that can be corrupted. So Hollow Zero can't convert more etheric energy to expand, which prevents it from getting out of control. New Eridu could only be built because of it. Without it, if you keep driving from here, you'll end up on the road to the northern side of Eridu, which is really close to the throne quarter. Within 10 minutes, you'll come upon a massive statue. That belongs to the White Star Institute. Turning left before the statue takes you to the former main road number seven of the Minerva Quarter. On the left side of the road were all the old civilization antique shops that Wise liked to go to. He was just a kid back then, and always fell for pig antiques. And on the right side of the road were all the dessert shops and snack stores that Belle loved. I couldn't resist Belle's whining and ended up buying more treats than she could ever finish. I couldn't finish them? As soon as any snacks were placed on the table, everyone would grab them up within a minute. Or have you forgotten? How could I forget? So, at the end of main road number seven, after you pass two, no, three security gates, you'll see a beautiful building. Our teacher is right there. She'll be at the entrance with Eos waiting for us. She always liked to stand to the right of the building's plaque. The Helios Academy. That's our real home. It's there now as well, just across the chasm, deep inside Hollow Zero, under the rubble of the old capital's ruins. Teacher, we're back. It's been a while this time, and a lot's happened. Damn, shit. That's crazy. That is a scarf. The one that Eos had, so that means the teacher had it. Master, second assistant, please allow me to express my condolences for the significant individual who has passed away. Should you wish, I can search for her name and accurately determine her location on the memorial monument. Carol. Carol Arna. That name was not found in the database of victims from the fall of the old capital. Only one matching result was found in the related information resulted in the uncontrollable hollow zero leading to the great tragedy of the fall of the city the main culprit senior research director carol arna of the helios academy along with others involved will forever be etched on the pillar of shame speculation the name provided earlier was incorrect or the matching information belongs to another person with the same name no it's no mistake the person officially responsible for the fall of the old capital is Carol Arna. She was our teacher. They. She taught us. Raised us. The HDD system and EOS are among her many achievements. She also saved us when the old capital fell. Very. Didn't you ask us why we wanted to investigate Hollow Zero? This is our reason. We became proxies so we could collect enough observation data to one day head back to where Helios Academy once stood. Deep in Hollow Zero. We're confident that if there are clues anywhere, it's got to be there. Belle and I are prepared to swear on our lives that our teacher isn't the one responsible. We have to uncover the truth about the fall of the old capital and clear our teacher's name. She's innocent. Because Because Warning, an unknown entity has Now finish the sentence. Huh? Now? Who would Don't do that? No 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 no. You're the head of Section 6, Hoshimi Miyabi. That's correct. And you're the leaders of the independent investigation team with the exceptional guide, Bangbo. I did not anticipate being bested by you. We're honored you remember us. But being bested by us, what do you mean? I am training to be the first to reach the Chasm Memorial. I would like to spend some more time with her alone. Damn. Okay. So you're here to pay your respects to the deceased too? Yes. My mother. <laughs> I'll just some material for later, maybe? I hope you can find peace soon. Thank you. 
but I don't intend to find peace. Hmm? You don't want to find peace? Indeed. I shall not seek peace until all those responsible for the fall of the old capital. Oh, well, this is kind of awkward. I will catch them all. None will escape me. Mm, so she's in that for revenge. Damn. That's it. All we have to do is wait for Pullman to wake up. Uh, estimation the master being Pullman wants to sacrifice it in the monument. It from sacrifice can cause disruptions to small crystal and lens. So I think the Helios Academy. Mm. Full little capsule tied together. We're inching closer. Uh, yeah, the court airship. There is one for us, Pro 6 to handle alone. There are also solid allies. Bellabog, Victoria, Sonskada, maybe even Chuyan and Chingyi. Maybe. Uh, Offer a company in all of the already. Let's keep working hard. Here to help us always. There's a little thing in front of me. Good night. Hey. Uh, Get some rest. I say it's like a truck. Time to sleep. Can you understand me? Damn, really? Fresh, like, did you wear already? Bro, all of these dot dot dots need to stop, man. Oh my god, they keep cutting the. Sentences off. A fresh day. Okay, now what? Why is it standing at the door? Hand. Why? Just check it out, say so. Okay. Oh my god. Damn, that's crazy. But it's kind of like Kafka, but without a coat, right? Well. I mean, yeah. Skirt. Well, like, I mean, I guess they're like trousers, but. Yeah. They ain't playing. I'm placing one full soup. No, that's 100% off. Media. That's to exaggerate things, but thank for the jar so far. I think up here. It was a sad situation. It's been a long day. My apologies. Sad down and get some good rest. 100 reports. Just drop off a leave request and your person received in the office tomorrow. Free there no paperwork. And section 5 was still out there chasing leads. Clocking out early offense to you. Ooh. Hmm, you are? Um, it's been a while, Deputy Chief. I mean, you're the captain of the independent investigation team. Yes. Right, team has been pretty active. Yes, I have been actually. And outpost administrators have nothing but praise for you. More world running into you here. So down the street, right? Have I mentioned that before? Oh, that was for I got an intern six or six, so it's my f job to know my part as well. No. Nah. Oh my god, I really want to click the second button. It's asking for compensation. <laughs> But I just cringe, fuck that. Uh, I have some time off. Of course. Sorry.
are we doing the 1.3 story as well or what's going on <laughs> would you like my recommendation the grind a movie to unwind my brain will be perfect small body big crisis No, not more paperwork. What? They can do that. Trickery my work ah, aholism, workaholism. Okay, for something different. A redo tour sounds good. Eat, watch, watching people eat triggers a dopamine release in the brain. I can concur with that, that's for sure. Um, wait, you're talking about work again? Chill, bruh. What are you going? 100 lines an hour to avoid awkward silences. What are just thinking of? What? Popular, just a collection of job ads. What would you need this for? Chief and the others have quite a fan base. Resumes are flying in from people trying to get closer to them. It's even clogged up the shredder in our office. I'm repeating the interview waiting room. Watching job ads. Hmm. This is from the video tape to you. Well, it's hard to say no. Training hand wasn't my first choice. Ooh. I'm just going to be packed soon. Can you check me out, please? No? She goes. Oh my god. <laughs> Tsukishiro. Forgets things too. Uh, maybe you can still catch up. Yes, I am running. Oh yeah, I was gonna see where even is the metro on this map? Oh yeah, it's all the way at the end here. Where you've never gone before. Because <laughs> you don't need to. Metro station. Yo. Hello? What are you doing here? If we have videotape. Feel totally relaxed. It's stuck in my hair. Fuck that. I don't care. Uh, so you're stored today by manager. Um, cool. Things are quiet again. Yeah, wow. That was... Uh, the the cutscenes in this game, man. They're so sick. Like, the story wasn't anything crazy. But, I mean, just, again, the animations just carry so much. And the voice acting, the music, the sounds, is, yeah, not bad.